Hey everyone, welcome to the 22nd episode of our Java game development tutorial series. If you remember last time, we got our bad guy, which is, I'm still thrilled that it works because I've never done it before. A bad guy, oh, and look at that, he collides with me also, I didn't know that. We also got our collision, you know, working in, uh, in last episode too, but he'll go and he'll turn. That's awesome! Okay. Anyway, um, the next thing we've got to do uh, is we've got to find a way to first well first I'm going to make the bad guy a little bit bigger I underestimated his size I'm going to set it for 15 and 25 because I want to be closer to the size of the player and eh, maybe our player is too big now nah, let's just let's just make this bigger uh, 16 and 28 okay 16 and 28 for our bad guy. <laughs> we trapped him. Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Anyway. Let's see. Let's go into our player. Uh, as you already know that whenever we press, what key was it? S, we shoot. But you see that our bullet doesn't necessarily go in the right direction. So, I'm going to add a... Is it exactly in the player? We're going to have a direction variable for him too. Private float direction equals one. By default, let's say he's facing the right. And then what we want to do is when we add the bullet. Let's see what what was the zero here? Was that the direction? Let me let me check our bullet real quick. Yep, that was direction. Here we said zero is left, one is right. It makes more sense to say that negative one is left and one is right. So let's say it's one by default. And then we'll say that the direction is blah blah blah. And then here we can simplify this. Instead of using this like it's a Boolean, you know, if it's zero this, if it's else, then blah blah blah. We'll just say that move x plus equals speed times direction. It's that simple. And now in our player class, um, let's find where our whole movement thing happens. We want to be facing not the direction we're moving, but the direction we're trying to move. So if we press left, but we're colliding with something, we can't move to the left, but we still want to face the left. Um, so we'll, we'll say that if we're pressing, um, well, as what if we're pressing both? Well, okay. We'll say right here. Direction equals okay. 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 We'll just do it this way. Do some boilerplate coding. If move x is greater than zero, direction equals one. Um, if move x is less than zero direction equals negative one. Otherwise, we don't want to do anything with it. We'll just leave it whatever direction it was before. So if we press play, we press the left. Uh, our bullets don't move at all. Okay. Why is that? Let's find out. Bullet, where do we do the direction? This dot direction equals direction. That's not it. Uh, move x plus equals speed times direction. Oh. <laughs> no, we're, we are in fact using the correct direction thing. If move x is greater than 0, direction equals 1. If move x is less than 0, direction equals negative 1. Question is, why are the bullets not moving at all? Move x plus equals speed times direction. What did we what were we doing for this before? Move x minus equals speed, move x plus equals speed. Where's the problem with that? I don't understand. Okay. Uh here I'm gonna do a little debugging. System dot out dot print line. 
uh, direction. I'm going to figure out why this is happening. Whoops, uh, I didn't add any bullets. <laughs> I'm not going to get any messages there. Zero. So our direction is zero in all of these cases. What would be setting our direction to zero? Because it's, it's one right here. Where's our player? Did we already set the direction before at some point? Direction equals one. Where is the direction being set to false? I mean, zero, not false. Uh, can I... Will it show me where I'm using direction? I'm only using direction right here, right? Where... <laughs> oh. <sighs> that was stupid. Here, bullet, bullet equals new bullet. Pose X, pose Y, zero. This is not supposed to be zero. This is supposed to be direction. Again, another silly mistake on my part. Oh, and again, we have problems. Float, float, float is undefined. Oh, okay. Uh, this is an int, not a float. And we can shoot both directions now. We can shoot this way, and we can shoot that way. This, that, left, right. Left, right. Left, left, right, 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 right. Left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay. Anyway, uh, now that we can, you know, change the direction, we shoot the bullets. Um, it would also be nice if we could change the orientation of the bullets. Let's say... I don't want to create another sprite that's facing the opposite direction just for if it's facing the opposite direction. We can flip it around. Or can we? And it's less efficient to, to try and flip it around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say this is bullet zero, and that's bullet one. And here, this will be a good illustration of how we can use multiple animations also. I'm going to copy and paste that bullet zero file. And I'm going to say bullet zero left. And copy and paste the one and have it be bullet one left. Okay, so we've got the zero for zero left and zero, zero left, zero, one left, and one. Um, here in the bullet class, right here, we, we say animation, let's say animation, anim equals new animation, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's copy and paste that, and this one will say anim2 equals new animation. Anim2 for both of those, and we'll add the whole left thing to the end of both of those. And then, right here, all we have to do is we need to make sure that our animations array includes both anim and anim2. Like that. And now, here in uh, update, we can say if direction whoops, if direction is greater than zero, current animation equals zero, because that's our first animation that we put in, which is the one with the bullet facing to the right, and if direction is less than zero, current animation equals one. And if that works, everything will be very happy. Let's find out. Uh, yep, it does. Well, actually, I can't tell because we forgot to flip around the... Uh, I, I think it works. Okay, I'm already confident that it does work, but it has no effect yet because I haven't flipped these images. I'm going to go ahead and flip these. Tools. Flip horizontal. And save that. Tools. Flip horizontal. Save. Okay. So facing this way, we fire bullets, they face that way, and they face the other way. Awesome. So you can see, uh, I was right, it does work. Um, so now we've got bullets that face either face in the correct direction. Uh, we're well on our way to actually being able to interact with that bad guy and, you know, shoot the bad guy and do fun stuff. Um, if you like this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks very much.